Welcome to Petro Proficient. This video discusses the use of polymers, and issues related to polymer degradation in an enhanced oil recovery process. Oil and gas recovery operations traditionally have been subdivided into three stages. They are, primary recovery, secondary recovery, and enhanced oil recovery. The actual range of primary recovery factors is very wide, but the average would be around 15% of original oil in place. Secondary recovery factors are comparable to the primary, so an additional 15% of original oil is recovered by water flooding. This leaves 70% of original oil in place, unrecovered. Why are polymers used in the enhanced oil recovery process? Let us look at some of the fundamentals associated with the efficiencies of the EOR process. Oil recovery in any EOR displacement process depends on the volume of reservoir contacted by the injected fluid. A quantitative measure of this contact is the volumetric displacement, or, sweep efficiency. Volumetric sweep efficiency is a product of the aerial and vertical sweep efficiency. The illustration shows the factors affecting the water flooding process. The permeability of the rock is not uniform, and water tends to flow through those layers having higher permeability as shown in the illustration. This is called layering effect. Secondly, water being heavier than oil, it tends to slump down, this is called gravity segregation. Gravity segregation leads to early breakthrough of the injected fluid. The two effects reduce the vertical sweep efficiency. From the aerial view, it can be seen that the traditional water flood narrows its course, bypassing a large amount of unswept oil in the displacement zone. This reduces the aerial sweep efficiency. Water that is used for water flood can be modified to improve the sweep of the oil in the displacement process. This can be done by adding polymers. This improves the water flood sweep and displaces more oil than conventional water flooding. The polymers are typically high molecular weight water soluble chemicals, used in diluted concentration, on the order of a few 100 parts per million. They are non Newtonian fluids as their viscosity is a function of shear rate. Various research activities have been developing many types of polymers for use in EOR processes. Two commonly used polymers in the industry are polyacrylamides and polysaccharides. Polyacrylamides are synthetic polymers, with relatively low price, and good viscosifying properties. They are used in partially hydrolyzed form, due to the strong characteristics of adsorption. Their performance depends on molecular weight, and degree of hydrolysis. The molecular weight of polyacrylamides used in EOR application ranges from 1 million to 10 million. The other major category of polymers is polysaccharides. The most widely used is xanthan gum. Xanthan gum are quite resistant to degradation. The molecular weight of xanthan used in EOR commonly ranges from 1 million to 15 million. What is polymer degradation? Degradation of the polymer molecules in harsh environment encountered during injection and in porous media is well known. 
This causes a deterioration on the viscosifying properties, diminishing the efficiency of the EOR method. The polymer chains are mainly subjected to shear degradation, chemical degradation or biological degradation. Shear degradation is the breakdown of a molecule as a result of shear stresses in the high flow rate region close to the well. This is a short term effect in and around the perforation in the reservoir near the well bore and in some of the surface polymer handling equipment like tanks, chokes etc. This degradation can have a dramatic effect on reducing polymer solution viscosity. To reduce mechanical shearing, screw pumps are used to transport, and plunger pumps are used to inject polymer solution at high pressures. Polymer injection wells are often completed through perforations. Electromagnetic flowmeters, or Spring scraped blade flowmeters are used to reduce shear effects in flowmeters. In vertically heterogeneous multi-layer reservoirs, multiple tubings are used to inject polymer solution into different layers based on the injectivities of reservoirs. Chemical degradation of polymers can occur due to oxidation. Oxygen scavengers are used to address the effect. Biological degradation is more prevalent for biopolymers, it may also occur in synthetic polymers. A universal method for addressing biological degradation is to use biocides. Generally speaking, technical screening criteria provide a guide on formation water salinity, reservoir temperature, and reservoir properties. In practice, reservoirs have been underwater flooding for some years prior to any EOR implementation. Therefore, reservoir water salinity may be close to that of the injected water before polymer injection. Thus, the salinity and divalence of reservoir water just before polymer injection should be used in the screening criteria, instead of the original formation water. When we set a temperature criteria for polymer flooding, the main consideration is whether polymers can tolerate the reservoir temperatures. Hello friends, at Petra Proficient, we endeavor to publish content on emerging topics to help individuals achieve their professional goals. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notification about new videos. Do leave your comments for us to know your feedback. Thank you.